everybody thanks again for watching and joining my channel here today so a uh, quick demo here and review of the five and a half five and a half inch ryobi circular saw battery operated 18 volt batteries of course i wanted something portable easy to use lightweight easy to maneuver etc for these different jobs especially when i'm using uh, big sheets of plywood it's like a 24 by 24 roughly and my table saw doesn't cut huge pieces so kind of limited there and so i wanted something that would be the next best option which is this right here you just pull it off the wall put the battery in go so quick features here um well first i got this on amazon for about 45 50 bucks did not come with any packaging which was kind of odd um but that was fine it was a tool only of course and this adjustment knob was actually missing from the packaging which i thought was kind of weird whatever i contacted amazon they gave me a nice discount for future uses so which was fine whatever so I, can't, I purchased this part alone for, I think it was like six bucks. It's an actual adjustment depth knob. Make sure not to get that confused with the uh, bevel bevel knob, which is, goes up to what, 50 degrees, something like that. So um, standard cheap Ryobi blade on it, of course, which is fine. I'll upgrade this blade later, no big deal. But for what I need it for, it works fine. I've gotten about 20 to 30 minutes of use on it. And of course, here's your Allen wrench that comes in here for you can unscrew and tighten the blade, etc. So that's convenient. Nice to have and this this adjustment plate here is is actually one inch over so the blade lines up with this first notch so if you're measuring something you know that this is going to be an inch from here and i already have my jig set up typically for what i use for uh, plywood i'm not going to cut this because it's actually what i need it for but i just want to have this set up so you guys can see it here's my jig i have one piece of plywood here i'm going across i lined up one inch mark one inch here one inch here draw a straight line if you need to, or just line it up with a jig. And I take it and I just cut along so it's nice and straight, okay? So all in all, for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna cut this two by four so you can kind of see how it works. Cuts up to, I think, one and 11 16 inches. Okay, so as you can see, it cuts that with uh, relative ease. So, uh, not the best. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. It's still a fairly new blade, but it works pretty good. I'll upgrade this blade later on. And all in all, it's a good saw for what I need it for. Keep in mind too, if you guys want lighter weight, go with the lighter battery, of course, but you're gonna get less runtime out of this than the actual four amp versus the 1.3, which does add a little bit of weight, no big deal. But if you have a lot of cuts, you wanna have that fully charged and ready to go. So the only other kind I can think of I mean, other than really nothing is, it's got kind of a weird noise to it, a rattle. Some Amazon reviews had that, but it's not really that big a deal. It works fine. So maybe just grease this spindle up or change the blade out and re reinstall it. So maybe that'll solve the problem. But all in all, it's a great saw. Be sure to leave any comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys.